TCS Prime, a new profile and most of the students are scared about the interview. Don't worry, let's crack the interview together. I'm Pramod Bosley, working in TCS for Digital Profile since 2 years. Based on this, I can be a right person to tell you which are the top 4 must-do technical subjects for TCS Prime profile. I have already shared the video on which are the must-do technical subjects for TCS Digital Profile. If you haven't watched that video, the link is in the description box. In this video, I will be taking you deep dive from technical subject to the most important topics in each subject for TCS Prime Profile. So I highly recommend you to watch this video till end to get best out of it. Just in case if you are new to the runtime error, do subscribe the channel for more such informative videos. Now without any further delay, let's proceed. Basics of AI, ML and Cloud Since you have been getting interview for the highest profile of TCS, interviewer would like to test you whether you are aware about the latest technologies in the market or not. So we need to make sure that we are well aware about the latest technologies in the market. Now the question comes, do we need to prepare these technologies in depth? The answer to this question is no. Don't worry. Let me tell you what you need to prepare in these technologies. Make sure that you are well aware about the basic terminologies of each technologies. Like what do you mean by AI? What do you mean by ML? And what is the difference between AI and ML? Also at the same time, make sure that you are well aware about the latest AI tools in the market. I highly recommend you not to prepare these technologies in depth since interviewer just want to test you whether you are well aware about the latest technologies going in the market and the industry. Data structure and algorithm. Data structure and algorithm is the most important subject since from this subject, the candidate is judged whether he or she is good in problem solving or not. So we need to make sure that we are thoroughly prepared with this subject. In TCS digital video, I mentioned that knowing linear data structure is good enough. But for TCS prime interview, knowing linear data structure is not good enough. Also at the same time, we need to be a thorough with non-linear data structure as well. But don't need to worry about it. Let me tell you what you need to prepare in this section. We know that data structure is basically classified into two types, linear data structure and non-linear data structure. Linear data structures. In linear data structures, you need to be a thorough with two important things. First part is implementation of each linear data structures. And the second important thing is application of each linear data structure. Since you are giving interview to the highest profile of TCS, there is high chances that interviewer might ask you to write the code for any of the implementation of linear data structures. So we need to make sure that we have good enough practice in implementing each of the data structures. Non-linear data structures. Tree and the graph are the most challenging data structures to most of the students. But don't worry, let's break it into the simple part. Make sure that you are good enough with the basic terminologies of trees and graph. For example, what do you mean by a tree? What do you mean by a graph, how the graph is represented, etc. Once you are done with the basic terminologies, you should be thorough with the basic implementation of non-linear data structures like traversal technique of graph, traversal technique of tree. Do make sure that this is a subject in which you are judged whether you are good at problem solving or not. So make sure that you prepare this really well. So here is a bonus tip for you. I can see that most of the students are really scared about their TCS interview. Don't worry. I have already launched my website called CodeGiddy on which you can schedule a mock interview with me. In this one-on-one -on -one mock interview session, we will be discussing everything in detail about the real-time interview experience, what are the mistakes you probably do, what is the perfect way to deliver the answer. Also at the same time, I will be reviewing your resume as well. So don't miss this chance, get as soon as possible to book your slot now. The link of this website is given in the description box. Database If I tell you about the my TCS digital interview experience, 47 minutes of interview was based on database. Based on this, you might have guessed that how important this subject is. But most of the people are not aware about what are the things we need to prepare from database section. So let me tell you which are the must do things from the database section. Normalization. Normalization is a kind of a topic which contains lots of subtopics. Therefore, there is a high probability of getting questions from these topics. So make sure that from normalization, you are thoroughly prepared with what do you mean by normalization? Why do we need a normalization? and types of normalization like 1NF, 2NF, 3NF and BCNF. Make sure that you are thoroughly prepared with types of normalization since there is a high probability of getting question from this section. Apart from this, prepare these topics really well. Acid properties, keys and joins. Joins are considered as one of the most important topic whenever it comes to the database section. Also at the same time, since you are giving interview to the highest profile of TCS, 
make sure that you are having good enough practice in writing queries since interviewer might ask you to write the queries during a time of interview so this was from the database section i highly recommend you not to skip the database section since it is the most important one not only for tcs but for every company object oriented programming object oriented programming are considered as a basic building block of every interview so we need to make sure that we should prepare it thoroughly even if you are from non cs background you should prepare the oops concept really well but whenever it comes to the interview most of the people prepare the oops concept in theory wise do you think that giving a theory answer during the interview will make any kind of impact on the interviewer no really no right so make sure that you are preparing the oops concept with real life example whenever the oops question is asked first try to deliver a real life example and then tell the bookish definition of oops concept for example if someone ask me what do you mean by polymorphism first tell the real life example like when i go to home i become a son when i go to college i become a student which means a single entity is acting differently in different scenarios and this is what we call as polymorphism and after giving the real life example then tell what do you mean by polymorphism in bookish definition so this is the perfect way to prepare the oops concept and believe me that this will create the huge impact on the interviewer so i hope so that this video has made some sense to you that and you got a clear idea on what are the subjects you need to prepare for tcs prime interview just in case if you are new to the runtime error do subscribe the channel for more such videos